Import range is a function in Google Sheets that allows you to import a range of cells from another Google Sheet. Since Glide apps are powered by a single spreadsheet, import range becomes useful if you need to bring in data from other documents. If you can avoid using import range at all, then do, as it's not 100% reliable. However, if you have some data that really cannot live in the same sheet as your app, then import range can help. It's also worth mentioning that import range won't automatically update your sheet in the background unless your app is a pro app and you have enabled background refresh. Free apps that use the import range function will only update when your sheet is opened. Say we work in a company and we have two spreadsheets. Spreadsheet A is powering our Glide app and spreadsheet B contains data from another department. We want to display some of the data from spreadsheet B in our app, but the other department regularly updates this data, so we can't just copy and paste it. It needs to be a live view on that data. We can solve this by using import range. We'll type equals import range into the cell where we want the imported data to start from. The import range function then has two parts the spreadsheet URL that you're importing from, and the range of data that you want to import. We'll copy the URL from spreadsheet B and paste it inside of the formula in our main spreadsheet, making sure we contain it in double quotes. Next, we'll hit comma and then open another set of double quotes. Here we'll write our source sheet name, followed by an exclamation mark and then the cell range to import. We want to import everything in columns A to D in sheet 1. So we'll write sheet 1, exclamation mark, A1, colon, D. The first time you do this, you may be asked to allow access to this sheet. Once you allow access, the function will continue to import your data without asking again. Bear in mind that all the data that's being imported is coming from the cell that contains the import range function. If you try to interrupt the data by typing in a cell that's being used, or by deleting the top left cell, the data will disappear. Now any updates in spreadsheet B's data will automatically update in spreadsheet A, and you can use this data in your Glide app. If you have to have data in separate spreadsheets, but you really want to share some parts of that data between them, then import range is a great tool. But again, it will only update in the background automatically if your app is pro.